So it's Louise Martin Chu here for Art Collective, where I've got the pleasure to be speaking to John Walsh about his painting, Immigrant Migrant Tangata Wenua. Sorry about the pronunciation. <laughs> um, John joins me from Perth, where he's having a break via Zoom. And the painting is in an exhibition at Gal Lang's Worldly Gallery in Auckland. How are you, John? Pretty good, thanks. <laughs> Very good. So I'm just going to share the screen because we're here to talk specifically about this work, um, which has a really intriguing title, Immigrant Migrant Tangata Winua. And it's one of the key works in an exhibition called The Dark and the Light. So John, what I thought I'd do first is get to you to tell us a little bit about how you made this painting because it's oil on canvas, but the paint is really thin and fluid. I'm just wondering what that technique and process adds to your intention for the work. Mm. Uh, I've been working in this very thin mode uh, for a long time now, um, but just recently, well, for this show, my palette has, has uh, changed and the technique has changed a bit. The, um, the, the sunset in the background is, was in acrylics and the, uh, the figures are in, in oils. But I really, really have been pondering this... Um, the dark and the light and I find myself wandering with my pup at night uh, giving him his walk and giving me some some space to think about things and all of this comes comes through this 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 painting has uh, like the immigrants the people who are coming into a land with all of they that they bring and it's very very dark this image it's it's uh you have to really look hard just to see the figures but the the figure in the in the foreground has a monkey on his back and 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 wherever we go in life we always bring our own baggage is what that means to me and the yeah. next figure further back is 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 the migrant the person who's leaving who who's finding it difficult to leave live in his own land uh, for all sorts of reasons and he's going off to greener pastures and then in the background are these three figure who are the tangata whenua, who are the people of that land. And uh, in New Zealand, it's Maori, and here you have your Aboriginal people. Look, it's a really beautiful work. And in your artist statement, you write about the allure of the night, um, and you wrote the dark twilight, that quiet magical space between realms is for me where hope, health, and love are nurtured. I just wondered, you know, what does the dark offer to this painting? You know, do people need to come and go in darkness? Does it make it easier to make those difficult decisions in the dark? Well, I think the dark, it, it, it uh, shuts down a lot of distractions. <laughs> you know, you, you, don't, you don't see a whole lot of things that uh, you normally see in the bright light of day. And, uh, and a lot of the things that you do see are, are just flash past you. You know, and, and you get to ponder them because there are great spaces of darkness between things that happen. I really like that. I, I, I enjoy the dark. I, I enjoy the contemplation and the ability to, 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 to think things through with a bit more space. Mm, yeah, it's time that we need. And um, how do you think it speaks to the global transients that, you know, we're not seeing so much in Australia and New Zealand, but certainly um, Europe and um, Asia, so much, many more people on the move. But also I know that one of your concerns is environmental issues. Um, how does it speak to the urgency of those things for you? Uh, well, this, this painting's one of a number in that series and they all sort of touch on, um, on different aspects, you know, or, or themes within uh, you know, my, my broader range of themes. But uh, I mean, it's, it's interesting, you know, here I am in Perth visiting my son and this is a very transient place. There are more expats here than there are Australians, it seems. Wow. Uh, a lot of New Zealanders, a lot of Maori people like uh, who, who have come here because it's greener pastures and, and they're you know, quite willing to leave their culture, their families, their, you know, their roots, their anchors, and, and to set off and, and to plant them 
here in this great you know mining wilderness it seems <laughs> there's a lot of hope in that departure and the you know and an adventure in the arrival isn't there it's um it's it's very appealing yeah it's it's uh you it's interesting to to see how everyone um you know tackles the same issue but differently with their own experiences and uh, yeah yeah the, the issues that are facing the world are, you know, they're global. They're not sort of, they are huge and everybody is involved in the same issues, but everyone is still tackling it from their own perspectives. It's yeah. like a, when I put the show together, I did it all in my studio in Wellington and I was surrounded by my own thoughts and, and the issues that were in my face. But coming away here, it's it's still the same issues. We're still... Global warming has not, not changed because I'm in Perth. <laughs> but uh, just talking to the people that are around my son and the, and the way they are experiencing it and, and fear it and working their own path through it, is, it's, it's, a, it's a huge, huge issue that uh, we are all facing here. Mm -hmm. And so when all the paintings were taken out of your studio and put into the exhibition, um, have you had a chance to see it? How did you, how did they cope with their transients? <laughs> I, I managed to get to the opening and we flew out the very next morning to come, come here. So, uh, oh, it looked good on the wall. It, looked, it was good. <laughs> but um, yeah. <clears throat> I've heard from, uh, from the gallery that uh, it's been a good response. People are moving through and soaking it up which is all an artist can ask for i like this one i think the works are so kind of meditative and um they really take you into their into their confines and take you somewhere altogether else um which is another thing that we really need yeah um i mean so i find <clears throat> i i find that um i'm more concerned with these type of issues than i am with the sort of a the, the frills of the art world, if you know what I mean. Mm, uh, yeah. uh, well, the issues that really are dominating the planet, it's um, bigger than all of us. So look, um, thanks so much, John. Really great pleasure to speak to you. And, you know, I urge, I urge all of you watching to go to Auckland to see this exhibition if you can. Um, and it's on the Gail Langsford website for those who can't get there physically. Um, the work has really great breadth and does speak to, I think, the most urgent issues of our time.